Welcome back to Sanagato Studios and another edition of the Hot Wings interview. I'm Greg Dybeck. As you know, I'll be channeling Sean Evans, the great host of Hot Ones today. And we have with us a very, very special guest, the one, the only, Ahmed, a.k.a. Schmetti. Thank you for inviting me, Sean, a.k.a. Greg, Greg, a.k.a. Sean. I don't know what I just said there, but <laughs> I'm very happy to be here today. Give everybody a little insight on who Ahmed is. Um, but I'm also petrified because I don't do well with spice. Thank you for having me, though. Of course. So the way this is going to work, traditionally on Hot Ones, they do 10 wings. Who's got the time for that? Yeah. Let's be honest. So we've condensed it down to seven. That does mean it's going to get very spicy very soon. Okay. But what we'll do is uh, just go through, enjoy these flavors, and I'm just going to ask you a few questions. I'll enjoy this conversation Super simple. with you. First sauce, this is the classic hot sauce by Hot Ones, and it is chili maple flavor. Ooh. And uh, this this shouldn't be too bad to start. Yeah. So All let's right. dig in. Cheers, enjoy everyone. Enjoy that bite. Cheers. Let them hear the crunch. That's a good wing. Mmm. Oh, yeah. I remember having a little bite. Oh, yeah. So, I know something about you mm -hmm. that the viewers don't know. Mm -hmm. And that is for all the San Diego Studios that you've appeared in, mm -hmm. you have never read the comments, which shocked me when you told me. Yeah. Except there's an exception here. A recent video, it was the Valentine's Day thirst comment video, was the first time you said that you went in and read the comments. Those comments were overwhelmingly supportive of you as yeah. a person a lot of love so i'm curious how that felt for you the first time going in and w reading comments on one of your videos to see all that support and love yeah so for me um i'm just a regular person so like i'm very to myself and i have like i overthink a lot so when i appear in these videos and like i know there's going to be a lot of people watching me i get nervous to know the reaction of what people may think i read through the comments and um they were beautiful. They were very beautiful, very supportive, very kind. Um, and it made me realize that that people care and love me more than I, I thought they did. So I, I mainly read them because of the curiosity I had of why I kept being brought back to videos. Mm. And I saw for myself and they were very beautiful. So thank you so much for everybody that reached out or commented and said some great things because you push me. <laughs> so thank you for that. Are you ready for wing number two? If it tastes like wing number one, for sure. But if it doesn't, um, no promises. Know. But there's only one way to find out. Okay. This is secret aardvark. It's a habanero hot sauce. It shouldn't be too bad. Just oh. a minor step up from okay. the first wing. Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Okay. Oh man! So, you said they would get hot quick. You are. <laughs> It's getting hotter. Yeah, I don't um, know why I took three bites. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm actually curious about, and I know people don't know this story, but I'm sure they're wondering, how did you even meet Joe? Mm -hmm. And is it true I've heard that Frankie wasn't the biggest fan of you when you guys first met? Yeah. They clashed a little bit. So uh -huh. can you tell us about that? How do you meet Joe? And what's the deal with uh, Frankie not liking you when you guys first met? When I was younger, I, I wouldn't say I was the most well-behaved kid. So um, I would just do. Yeah, like you don't have to incriminate yourself. Yeah, it's stupid fine. things like you know paint and like a nice way of saying graffiti. Yes, exactly. You so didn't say it though. I so first of all, let me backtrack. I've known Frankie and Joey since I was about um, six, seven years old. Uh, I went to elementary school with Frankie's bro twin brothers, um, and they were my best friends, still are till this day, um, and we've kind of grew up together. So I was always in Frankie's household. Um, until I was like getting into my teen years and I started doing those things and then Frankie and Joey both because they're best friends and you know If one hates one person the other one does too, right? <laughs> Had to throw that in uh, So they started they didn't approve of me um, Joe too Joe too. I mean Joe didn't have a reason he just was Frankie's best friend, right? But yeah after a while I would say not a while but like very quickly Frankie realized that I really wasn't a bad kid I just was doing stupid things like all kids in the neighborhood do um, and then in 2013, 2014, Joey reached out to me to invite me to their first Miami vacation. After that trip, they then realized that 
I was um, just a regular cool kid. Kind. So once kid. I actually spent time with you and yeah, got to know you, they quickly realized yeah, he's not a bad exactly. guy. He just likes a little graffiti here and there. Yeah, and now graffiti is considered art all over the city, right? Right. Yeah. You're so just I was expressing just expressing. I'd like to say I'm ahead of my time, <laughs> um, but yeah, it, that's that's the real reason why they didn't like me in the beginning. Yeah. But I guess once they got the chance to spend time with me and really know who I was, that's when the love formed. So beautiful message. Thank yeah. You. Yeah, that's don't my... judge people before knowing them. Exactly. Because that's how you miss out on a friend like Ahmed. Thank you. I and appreciate that. that's a guy that. that you want as a friend. Thank you, Greg. That's kind. Are you ready for wing number three? I love this one. Yeah, this yes. is a special one. You know what? I've promoted this so many times uh, on this show. So why don't you give this a Thank shout you. out? Let them know what wing number three is. Yeah, so wing number three is the everything bagel hot sauce created by Greg and Joey. This is one of my favorite uh, hot sauces, I'd like to say. Not to be biased, because I could have just bought one, supported, and kept moving on. But this gives you that good heat, and a, I would say a little bit of saltiness, mm. um, which kind of balances it all out. Um, if you haven't bought this, you're definitely missing out. It's a great add to your rotation of hot sauces. And yeah, there we go. Um, you're going to have to pay me for the next promo, because I, I, I absolutely crushed that. And that was from the heart. Let's enjoy. Let's enjoy this one. Cheers, Everything Greg. bagel hot sauce. Mm. Oh, yeah, I mean... I'm biased too, but, yeah, but oh my god, the flavor, it just, oh, the garlic, the salt, it mm -hmm. just, there you mm. are, the garlic too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got the kick though. No, no. Your first bite is salt garlic. As you keep going, you can't even. <laughs> Cut this and make it look too spicy. No, that wasn't the heat. That was, I took a monstrous bite okay. that my body can't handle. <laughs> Enough promotion about that, but yeah, check it out. Heatness.com. Uh, Amazon available at Walmart, the Fresh Market, and some big news coming up, but I can't share it yet. So yet. stay tuned. Uh, listen, I'm getting a lot of DMs once people found out that we we're going to do this conversation. So look, there's a phrase that's been thrown around. I think it's, uh, is it a med in the streets, schmetti in the sheets? Yeah. Is that what it is? Yeah. People have seen this side of you. Uh, sensual maybe is the right word or yeah. you're a romantic I you am. have a beautiful singing voice thank you gorgeous eyes thank you people are just wondering what is a meds type so i don't have a like a a physical type okay i need a connection with somebody i don't like the, the looks and everything that's a whatever that's that's for you more than it is for me because that's for your like confidence and whatever the way you feel but i, I my type is somebody that i could laugh with as term like as far as like a an physical type i don't really have one i've kind of in my life i've dated all so I, I don't really have a specific type it's just the connection yeah that's so. a it's a beautiful answer thank you I beautiful and that. mature answer yeah the first three are out of the way yeah so now we've got this plate here i've never lied to you Matt. no you haven't this is gonna get tricky okay so i say we move on to wing number four ufc fighter dustin poirier's hot sauce that's your boy, right? That is that is actually my favorite fighter in the nice. UFC. I met him in person. Amazing mm. person. Amazing guy. He's a good guy, yeah. So, sorry. Um, but no, this is his KO edition. I don't know if you've had this one. It's with ghost pepper, so he really uh, upped the ante on this one. He did. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, I'm feeling it. Honestly, you're doing no, no, way no. better than I thought. I have no idea what you're saying. Right now. <laughs> Me neither. <coughs> I have to talk about <coughs> the Basement Yard Live. No. I want to tell a quick story. I'll give you a break from talking for a second. Right. But <coughs> hello. As of filming this, we have three shows behind us. Should we take another bite? No. <laughs> we have three shows under our belt, and it has been such an incredible experience for all of us. This is the truth, guys. As you know, if you've been following the tour, Joe and Frankie, obviously. I'm producing, kind of helping tour manage this as well. And we have Mikey, our video guy. Amazing. That we're bringing out. That was going to be the team at first. The first show in Jersey, my lips are dancing. That's what's dancing. So The water's the not helping. Don't try it. I have no other choice. The first show in Jersey, Ahmed was like, can I catch a ride with you guys? And we're like, of course. And if there's anything to do where you can help out, like just hang out with us backstage while we do sound check, while we get ready for our first show ever. We don't know what we're doing, hoping it goes well. Yeah. We learned quickly, just kind of jumping into the fire. Like there is a lot to do the night of a show, a lot to coordinate. You got this, you got From it. From merch 
to the sound check, to everything. If you weren't there, I would have been buried in the stuff. I was getting pulled in so many directions, and I was able to delegate some stuff to you that you handled beautifully. You Thank did you. so much that day, and instantly, I remember Joe said to me that night, he's just like pulled me aside right after the show ended, and he's like, Ahmed's here to stay. He busted his ass and like, we need him here. And I was like, absolutely, not even a question. And you were, you stepped up to the plate so hard. Cause a lot of people talk shit and a lot of people say that they'll do anything, but they won't, or they won't be there when the time comes. And you were there and you're rewarded for it because you deserve it and you earned it. And uh, it's just so cool that now we're about to release, you know, a bunch of shows for 2024. Like this is our life. Like yeah. this is what we're doing. Yeah. And it has been so fun. It's been so incredible. And I just needed to tell people that story. So I'm so happy that you're going to be, you know, alongside me and, and the team for this ride. And I just wanted you to kind of talk about that from your perspective and like what this all means to you and what it's like to be part of this. First of all, thank you for everything you just said to me. Cause, um, and thank you for taking your time saying that cause he gave me a little bit of time to recover. Yeah. And now it's your turn to recover. Thank you. Um, I wasn't taking my time on purpose. I just, uh, no, it's hard to get words out. Appreciate that. Um, it all started with, like Greg said, me just trying to catch a ride to a show. <laughs> so I didn't spend a hundred dollars on an Uber, you know, they're my friends. So when they ask me to do something or ask me to help with something, I'm going to do it. No questions asked. Not with like the thought of a reward in my head, just because they're my friends. That's number one. So for that to turn into me being on tour with them full time and like each show I've done a little bit more. But like, I would say from then it turned into um, just the way the fans are accepting of me at, e at each show. Like I'm a Santa Gata Studios member, right? Like that's a little bit aside from the basement yard. So the fact that like I would get the reaction I did or people would ask me for pictures or ask me for a conversation or just telling me kind things. Um, those people and all of you understand what that makes me feel right like it's just something I can't even put into words but I'm just super grateful for it. and it kind of opened my eyes to my own self and just made me realize that this may be my calling um, just talking to people entertaining people um, being around my friends doing this uh, this has been my calling and that's why I'm going to continue going on tour with these guys not only because they asked but Truly because I, I want to be by their side. Yeah, man. No, it's amazing. It feels like this discovery. It feels like this thing that has just been in front of our faces the entire time. And just something about one of my favorite parts of every show is before the show, if you've been, you know, like you'll catch me and Ahmed in the lobby. Yes. Just meeting you guys. And like Ahmed said, it is so overwhelming. And it's just, we're so grateful. And this whole vibe of this basement yard live experience and i can speak for joe and frankie here too has just been gratitude like yes. we just end a show we go back into the green room and we're just like wow what how what just like happened? this is insane like and then we're just so thankful for being able to do this together the group that we have um it's so special man i'm so happy to be able to do this with you as well like you, you being the person you are has helped me be more present with all of this and just have gratitude you know each night and, and look forward to this coming up so i can't wait for what's to come this year it sucks that we have to ruin this beautiful moment with the next wing yes <laughs> this is uh wing number five this is hamajang smoky ghost pepper goodness let's do it uh, <laughs> I that last to... one was pretty hot yeah that one was pretty hot and i just recovered from it i this is the name of the game baby see you on the other side Absolutely immediate. I forgot where I was for a second. I don't even feel anymore. There's only two left. There's only two left. We got that. No, I understand. But. Do you need a bucket? <coughs> Water. Oh. It's a sort of piggyback off the conversation we were just having. This was actually a couple days ago. I was talking to my wife about you. I love her. It's a very delayed Great person. spice. My wife, thank you so Amazing. much. That means a lot to me. And. I was talking to her and I said, Ahmed is like a mirror. He literally makes you look at yourself and question, am I actually being as supportive of a person that I can be? Am I actually being the best friend that I can be to my friends, showing them thanks? And I mean that with all my heart, like you 
are you i think i'll just say like you're probably the most supportive person that i've ever met like genuinely and i know there's a joke that people it wasn't a joke but in the valentine's day video <laughs> you yelled at keith yeah because he was talking down about himself <clears throat> you mean that with all your heart you're not playing for the camera you didn't know that that would even be heard in the video like yeah. what where did this come from like how are you so genuinely supportive you take support of your friends to a level i've never seen i hate you but i love you <sighs> Because I could, I would have loved to have this conversation. <coughs> Minus the wings. Yeah. So I could actually cry. But no, thank you so much. My support for my friends, I think it just, it's in me. I don't think it was taught to me or it came from a specific place. Like I've always loved my friends since I was a young kid. Like even since I was a kid, I would go to all my friends' baseball games, cheer them on. And it didn't do anything but make me feel good. Hmm. And I just, I also like, the support system I have from you, from you guys especially, like, don't think like I'm the only one taking my support to the next level, but you do too, because you guys have seen something in me that I've never seen in myself. You've put me in a position that I may have never put myself in. So that support right there is like putting me in uncomfortable positions because you know that I will thrive in them. And that's like, those are things I see. And those are things that I know. Even in that video with Keith, like I will never ever in my life sit here and let my friend talk to themselves in a way that they should never speak about themselves because like that's all like irrelevant like 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 there's no reason for someone to to hate themselves like that or like to put ill words or language towards themselves because eventually you'll start to believe it you really will you keep telling yourself something i just drooled everywhere but you keep <laughs> telling yourself something you will start to believe it so i try to tell you the truth about yourself like i really do and greg honestly like i mean this from the bottom of my heart you were meant to be in this position that you were put in because without you none of this grows the way it does you are a creative and you are somebody that thrives off challenge and just the same way you said i force you to take a look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself if you're being a supportive friend or something or if you could support in more ways you i look at you and i think to myself wow i gotta chase the challenge and i gotta run towards the things that make me uncomfortable because you know if you attack fear and you run towards fear fear will be afraid of you right so that's what i started telling myself and i think that because of you sat there and you did the unthinkable you wrote a book right like like you did some really cool things in this life and life is just getting started for you so it's like, I look at you, I look at Joey, I look at Frankie, I look at Keith, I look at everybody. And you all push me to be a better version of myself. So thank you for your words, but like also just know that you push me just as much as I push you. We just do it in different ways, right? But I, I really like live off the support of my friends. Like, and I don't think that I could support my friends this way without loving myself first. So love yourself first and then you could support others authentically and like the right way. So awesome, man. And well, thank you for everything that you just said. Yeah. And for everyone watching, what he just did stared me down in my eyes and said some of the nicest things anyone has ever said <laughs> to me. I promise you that's not for the cameras. That's a that's a Tuesday with a med. Mm -hmm. And he means it and uh it's awesome, man. Like you just never change. Thank you. I never, will. never, ever change. It's it's amazing to have you around and you elevate all of us and uh, make us better people. Thank you. I appreciate that very much. And the people see it too. The people do see it. I know you don't read the comments, but you can't bullshit. The audience isn't stupid. Yeah. No matter how supportive they are, they're not stupid. And if, if you're not genuine, they, could call it out. they will see through it immediately. Mm -hmm. So they see that about you. And that's why this is such a cool opportunity for people to just get to know you better. Of and and they're the best, honestly, yeah. really are, are the, the best. best. And whoever called me a himbo, thank you. I regret to inform you that this is the sixth out of seven wings, <sighs> but it is the worst one. Okay. If you're familiar with hot ones, this is the bomb. Literally was invented to just inflict maximum damage and pain this is not gonna be fun no it's not like it's i have nothing else to say about cheers, it bud. cheers ahmed let's get a little oh i love you buddy love you too man oh. love you too greg i can't go crazy on this bite i'm gonna know, go crazy one, on this bite. One bite.
Where is it? At first, I thought it was hot, but I feel like that was from the last one. This is crazy. This has never happened before. Did we not put it on enough? No, you did. I saw you. I watched you. Is our... There we go. I don't think I bit into it. Mm -hmm. I bit it. I might have done more on one side. There's I'm not mad. enough water in here. I'm mad. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a terrible host. Sorry. But listen, we got to get right into the questions here. <sighs> Can I breathe? You said the word himbo before. Yeah. So now that you have this platform outside of a San Agato Studios video that's probably rigged against you because yeah. no one wants you to win. I don't get it, Ant. Yeah, Ant. Yeah. What do you think from people who have just seen you on videos prior to this conversation? What do you think is the biggest misconception that people might have about you? <coughs> I don't want people to really think I'm, I'm stupid. Um, like... I don't, and, and this doesn't mean that I play it up for the video. Like the tests they make me take, like they're infuriating. And and I'm glad I could be honest here. Sure. They're infuriating. Cause like, I'm, I'm going to be 30 and I'm taking an eighth grade math test. And the eighth grade math test, like is way different than the test that I took in eighth grade. That's fair. Thank you. That's so fair. like, and then you have like people like Keith who like knows everything, you know, and like Mr. Know-it-all. So like he plays it up, but like. Anyway, I just, I'm, I'm not that stupid. Um, I could be, but like overall I, I could be, I'm, I'm a little bit of an intelligent man, but I think everything else you all have, right? Like, <laughs> like right, all like, the good things you have, right? Yeah. All the good things you have, right? <laughs> Even some like the himbo stuff is funny too. Cause it is like, I could be a himbo at times. Like I could, we be all little, have those moments. Yeah. You're just, you're on camera doing it. Yeah. So also, like, there's like no prior knowledge going into these videos. Sometimes you'll show up for a video. You don't even know it's a math test that's about exactly. to happen. Like you are thrown into this. Lights on, cameras on, go. And then you, yeah. know, you just have so to do it. That's hard. I just don't want you to think that I'm stupid. I just thought you deserved this platform to make that clear. Yeah. And I think people truly understand that. Thank you. And at least now they do and they will because yeah. there's a lot more coming. There's a lot more coming. Which brings us to wing number seven. I'm not even... I lied. This one could also be the worst. So question before we eat this one. What do you think about the wings that I bought? Are they good um, wings? They're probably the worst that we've had on the show. Oh, okay. Uh, but you're also the first guest that I've made bring the wings, which is pretty messed up. Ready? No, yeah, whatever. But like, I'm pissed. You didn't make the wings. Yeah, but like, whatever. They're all right. They're all right. good. What do you want me to say? I'm not going to lie to you. We're honest. That's all you have to say. You don't have to be like, they're the worst we've ever had on the episode. Like, you know, you... You're right. I, all yeah. right. Cheers to the last wing, baby. <laughs> that one's... No, that one. That's terrible. That's Reaper sauce. That actually also could... This could be in contention for the worst, too, so... No, no, no. That's up there. This one's the worst. <laughs> this one's worse than the last one that I just had. Well... I'm sad because I feel like I could have this conversation with you for hours. Oh, we're going to dinner after. We're we'll continue dinner, so the conversation. Could, you could ask me whatever you want there. You said something very important earlier in this interview that I hope people caught. You said through some of your recent experiences, the live show, being on more videos, you think maybe this is your calling, entertaining people, talking to people, being in front of camera. So I'd like to give you this opportunity to elaborate on that yeah. and... You don't have to go into a ton of details, but <laughs> what do you plan on doing with this support, this momentum that you have, and this realization that this could be your calling? Yeah. If you've been following me, um, you've noticed that I've posted um, if I should make a TikTok and all of these things. Um, and really quick, just to let you know, like I've always been petrified of social media. Mm. Like I feel like this could have been done way long like wait i can't even i can't even freaking speak but, but in the past it could have been long. done yeah and um i always didn't because i had this battle with social media where i was competing with other people on the internet and i hated it so i would i took took breaks for years and years but now my realization and if you followed me recently you know that i said should i asked if i should create a tiktok um i got a lot of feedback of people saying yes i should um i could be very funny on it but definitely doing the live shows 
um, standing on the stage for just grabbing a water bottle yeah. off the stage um, and the crowd giving me a standing ovation or putting a microphone on a cushion, you know, and the crowd going nuts. So like you can't have those experiences and then just go back and do your nine to five. <laughs> There's just people have asked me, like, where can they find stuff that I create or like, how can they see more of me without waiting for a video to drop through Santa Gata Studios? And I just started thinking to myself, like, Ahmed, people won't ask you those questions if they genuinely didn't mean it. Like, they don't have to take their time to, to ask you those questions. So it would be it would be a failure to myself and a failure to the fans to not try to do something where it's it revolves like it's solely me and kind of give you an experience that you know, I don't know necessarily what kind of experience. That's something that I'm working on, but definitely work on something that feels right um, and is truly authentic to me and to the person that I put out there f for you to see. It's going to be amazing. And yeah. I'm going to speak for all the people watching. Obviously, we want to see that. Obviously, everyone means it. It doesn't have to start as a finished product, no, you know, like no. it's, a, it's exciting for you to just be able to discover what you want to do, what makes you happy, what you're comfortable with what people are reacting to and enjoying so we're here for this journey this Ahmed journey yeah. like people have noticed like this isn't a mistake this is by design like Ahmed is appearing in more videos because Ahmed is crushing videos and people love seeing Ahmed and that is only going to expand and turn into more and turn into your own thing and you obviously have our support till Thank the you. end of time so I appreciate it very everybody. exciting um, I'd like to say one thing the floor is yours um, Joey, thank you for everything, bud, um, for changing my life, um, opening my life to something I've never experienced before, giving me the experience and not just me, man, like what you do for your friends, like just give yourself a pat on the back because, um, I know it's, it may not always feel appreciated, but it's, it's never forgotten. Um, and Greg. Thank you for, if it weren't for you calling those shots, we probably wouldn't be here today. So thank you for seeing something that I didn't see in myself. And I appreciate you very much for that. Thank you. That means a lot. Yeah. Man. And thank you is, to the uh, fans. Of course. Thank you to the fans. This is beautiful. Thank you. This is one of my favorite conversations I've had in general. And uh, really glad that we got the opportunity for you to have the floor to show, I'm not even gonna say a different side of you, but just to show you just outside of the construct of the videos. It's so awesome. People are gonna appreciate it. I appreciate you being so honest and open. Yeah. And like, also we crushed this. We crushed this. Guys, a lot more Ahmed to come. So Stay just tuned. follow the channels, follow his journey. And we're just gonna keep putting stuff out there for you guys. That's the name of the game, so. Thank you guys for your support, and uh, we'll see you next episode. We're overdue. It's Frankie time next. Frankie time that next, I can baby. say. But thank you, Ahmed. Thank you, Greg. I appreciate it, Sean.